Welcome to Garland Tech University. My name is Mark, I'm here with Jennifer, and today we're gonna go over all the different tap modes. We look forward to working with you and are always here if you have any questions. The first mode we'll talk about is standard tap mode, or as Garland calls it, breakout mode. Breakout mode is typically used for passive or out-of-band network monitoring applications. Next, aggregation or regeneration mode can either be passive or active and is used to send data to your monitoring ports and can be used for packet slicing and injection. Next, port-to-port -port filtering allows you to filter on layers 2, 3, and 4. It gets rid of the data that your tools may not need to see and minimizes the amount of traffic that goes to your tool. Last, we'll go over bypass mode. Typically, this is used with active inline security appliances and uses heartbeats to monitor the health of your security or inline appliances. Let's take a closer look at breakout mode. In this diagram, you see a router plugged into port A and you see a switch plugged into port B. The traffic from router to switch is depicted with the blue line, which is the west to east traffic, and the traffic from switch to router is depicted with the red line. On monitor port C, you see the blue traffic coming out, and on monitor port D, you see the red traffic coming out. That's why it's called breakout mode, or standard tap mode, because if the router was a person and the switch was a second person, it's taking everything that person A said and sending that traffic to port C and everything that person B says or the switch says is sending that traffic out to port D. So it's breaking out both sides of the conversation. West East comes out port C and East West comes out port D. And that's why it's called breakout mode. For aggregation mode, here you see the router and switch plugged into port A and B on the tap. Then you see monitor ports C and D, and what they're doing is they're combining both sides of the conversation. So they're taking the blue traffic, router to switch, and the red traffic, switch to router, and they're sending both sides of the conversation out port C. And there could be an additional conversation going out port D. This is called aggregation. With aggregation, please be aware not to oversubscribe ports C and D. For example, if this is a 1G network, you have the potential of 2G worth of traffic out of each monitor port because it is full duplex. You have 1G shown here on the blue line and 1G shown here on the red line of traffic and together those equal 2G's worth of traffic. So if your utilization is greater than 50% on your 1G network, for example, then you would not want to use aggregation mode. The way to guarantee all of the traffic gets to your appliances is always through breakout mode. With port-to-port -port filter mode, as you can see in this diagram, as you take in traffic, you can aggregate these to different ports. The reason you'd want to filter is to remove the data that's not needed for this monitoring tool. You can filter on layers 2, 3, and 4 and minimize the amount of traffic to avoid oversubscription to your monitoring tool. Bypass mode. Again, here you see the router and switch plugged into port A and B. But here you see the traffic actually flowing through the inline appliance to the switch in blue, and then back through the switch through the inline appliance to the router in red. This is because the inline appliance has to actively do things like block traffic, protecting the network, whatever the tool is, it needs to change the traffic that is flowing through it. You may have noticed the heart icon. The bypass tap passes a heartbeat signal back and forth between the devices to tell us the health of the inline appliance and prevents it from becoming a point of failure within the network. This is critical for managing updates and troubleshooting your network. Now that you've learned about the four different tap modes, take a quick quiz and test your knowledge.
that concludes today's Tap Mode Overview. The entire team at Garland would like to thank you for taking a moment to go through the different tap modes. We hope that you and all your customers are going to tap it. Feel free to reach out anytime. If you need help or if you have any questions, we're always here for you. If you want to learn more, please check out our ebook on network taps for a complete guide on the basics of network taps 101. Thank you.